Good morning. Welcome back to White Mountain Today. <laughs> and uh, here in the studio with me is Thomas Prindle from Wildcat Mountain. Thomas, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, Rob. Thank you very much for having me on. Oh, well, glad you could be here. Now Happy we... Father's Day. Well, thank you so much. Remember that, kid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember that, kids? Um, they're all still sleeping. Come on. Yeah. Um, they're smart. We want to talk about Wildcat Mountain because the yeah. season has begun at Wildcat. Yeah, the season has begun. It began actually back in May, and uh, but uh, we are now open daily, which is important for everyone to know whether, right. when permitting, we will be operating. Uh, Everything sort of begins at 10 o'clock. Uh, persons can purchase tickets as early as 9.30 a.m. for both the Zip Rider, Scenic Gondola, Disc Golf, and all that. But uh, today is a special day in honor of Father's Day. Um, sort of annually, uh, traditionally, we have free Father's Day up at Wildcat Mountain where persons can ride the Scenic Gondola, uh, which is the highest in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, fathers can ride for free. If a friend or family member, anyone else purchases one other lift ticket, well, they can ride. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, you know, if you haven't purchased dad a gift yet or you're just kind of scrambling, this is a, a real unique uh, experience for, for dad to go up to our over 4,000 foot summit. And uh, today, the start of today should be really, really nice up there. Right. Yeah. So it's a good thing when you go, like, when, when you know, dad wakes up and go, so, Dad, I was going to take you up wild. Dad. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, Dad's I've been not, you know, planning it, it for months. If he's never been up, you know, Pinkham Notch is just beautiful this time oh, of it year. Oh, is. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a great ride. I, you know, I've been up there. And uh, just when you get up there and the views that you have, it's yeah, I mean, panoramic. As, exactly. The scenery is always voted number one scenery by readers of uh, Ski Magazine. And um, if persons are unfamiliar with our lift, the Wildcat Express is arguably the fastest, most powerful uh quad summit chairlift in New Hampshire, but we convert that in the summertime. We pull off those exposed chairs yep. and we put on these four person uh, scenic cabins. Uh, we slow the lift down a little bit so it's about a 12 minute ride up to the top and persons can get off. We have uh, picnic benches up there. I think it's one of the most unique picnic spots in New England. Yeah, and I'm going to go on record saying that. And it's a fun ride too. So it's yeah. not just, it's, you know, so the ride is part of the trip too. So going in the gondola, they're comfortable gondolas and the view as you go up, you know, as things start appearing, you know, as you go up a little bit higher, oh, I can see a little bit further. Yeah. And we're such a sort of a dog oriented um, area up here that uh, dogs on a leash can also ride up the scenic gondola and there's no cost for the dog to ride. So, so you don't have to like tie the dog to the outside of the gondola and have him run along. No, that would oh, just okay. be cruel, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a little too no, much, just, little too much vacation there <laughs> yeah. for it. So, yeah. hey, but there's also there's other things too. So in case you don't want to go up that, or you've done it, or you say, hey, what else can we do? Let's talk about disc golf. Yeah, let's talk about disc golf. Uh, if you don't know the game of disc golf, it's played just like the regular game of golf. Um, you're trying to have as few throws as possible from a tee box area to a target basket. And uh, we have nine holes, and it's an alpine lift service disc golf course. So you ride the same lift up that you would otherwise be riding for the zip rider, and you play nine holes back down to the base area. Um, our baskets are basically tournament style baskets. Uh, it's a real nice layout. We have two sets of tees for beginners and more avid disc golfers. And right now it's nine holes, and uh, the cost for that includes two rounds of nine. So you can play 18 holes if you want to. And uh, it's it's lots of fun. It is a lot of fun. And, you know, yeah, we were just a, talking about it. A yeah, little there's bit. a lot of challenge to it, and and of course, you know, depending on what the weather is, whether it's windy or, or not, but uh, it's a lot more fun. I think some people would be like, "Well, just throw in a frisbee," but it's not. There's a challenge to it, yeah, uh, and a skill level. And you know, after you get like a couple holes in, you're you're in. You're 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 hooked. Absolutely, yeah. And we were talking a little bit that the the discs that you actually use are different from the sort of whammo throwing frisbees that right. you might use at a beach or whatnot. But uh, they're different. They're there's all different. There's driver discs, there's mid-range discs, there's putter discs, so you can get really technical. And like you said, I mean, once you get used to it, it's, it's lots of fun. Right. And you mentioned the Zip Rider. Yeah, the Zip Rider. There's a picture yeah. of it right now. Um, the only Zip Rider in New Hampshire. It's a, uh, a chair-style harness system, uh, much different from the Canopy Tours, the more expensive Canopy Tours that a lot of people are familiar with. It's only $20 to ride the Zip Rider. And uh, it's just under a half mile in length. There's a disc golf. Um, but the Zip Rider is, is lots of fun. You have to be at least 75 pounds, maximum weight of 275 pounds. So it's not great for the real little kids. Right. But for like the teenagers and anyone that fits within those weight and height requirements, it's uh, super fun. 
Uh, you're as high as 70 feet in the air. Uh, you can reach speeds up to 45 miles per hour, yep. and uh, it's just it's it's definitely a thrill. And it's very comfortable to sit in, so it's not like you're not being pulled in places you don't want to be pulled. You're really kind of sitting there very comfortably as you go down. So it's it's not when I was like, please get me to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, yeah, you're there's, nice no, there's not a torture harness system. Right. Or a, a, it's like I said, it's different from the canopy tours. You're not wearing the helmets. You're not you're not actually controlling your own speed. Um, there's a sort of a gravity-fed braking system on these, so you really just sit back and enjoy the ride and just take in the beautiful scenery and it's uh, it's definitely it's, if you haven't done it you should do yeah. it and actually the the end the breaking part when you come to that springs is wicked cool yeah you just went, when yeah. did you you did it because that last summer me and yeah. the boys went up there and oh what a great time we had and then they went up they went up a week later and did it again nice so it was a uh, you know great time up there <laughs> yeah and like so. I said I mean it's it's super um, uh, there's some value there. I mean, it's only twenty dollars to ride it the first time. If you should want to ride it a second time, that same day, it's only ten dollars. Yeah. So and, uh, and I, I bet you get a few repeat. <laughs> yeah. No, repeat we definitely people. do. We get people that come up and just love to do it. And uh, if just that first time, you know, it's one of those things where you do it the first time and you're, you're almost just like kind of focused on your fear or what whatnot. But if you do it a second time, that's when you can really kind of you know let your hands go and just kind of yeah. take in the views and just. Enjoy the ride. So it's very uh, cool. Yeah. All right. So today is uh, Father's free, ride. Free. Yeah, free Father's Day. Definitely. I mean, the weather looks great right now. I don't know what, what's the forecast. It's, for it could. We could get some rain later on. So get on it early, right? I would get on it early. Yeah. But it'd be kind of cool to go up there on a on a rainy day. And a yeah, we do. Day. I mean, we do operate the Zip Rider and scenic gondola, weather permitting. I mean, on light shower days. Right. But if there's any you know thunder chance lightning. of thunder or lightning, we do have to kind of shut things down. But otherwise, we can run it in you know light showers. Um, as early as 9.30, we start selling tickets for the Zip Rider. The Zip Rider will sell out if it's a busy day. I so bet. So the earlier you get there, the better off you are securing your position as to when to go. And uh, if people have any questions, go to our website, skiwildcat.com or uh, friend us or fan us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and all that stuff. There you go, all that social <laughs> stuff. Thomas, thanks so much for joining us. Rob, thank you so much as and always. And we'll see you soon. Absolutely. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today. Using cones to set up a